I would say, is that same view held with AI as well in terms of it's a tool, so we're just going to utilize it for what it is? Or do you see AI being disruptive? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is the, this, is, this is the point where you get clear, but I, I get, can, get cancelled. <laughs> I get cancelled. Right. No, cancel here, man. We don't think yeah. it's at all. But the follow up question, what's your thoughts mm. on CGI? On yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I'm I'm I'm, I'm... <laughs> Have you guys I'm had debates about it? Yeah, yeah. We've had debates. We've had debates. CG's not real real art. <laughs> yeah, like that. Um, <laughs> no, um I I've I'm it, it's it's how you use it's a tool and it's how you use it right yes. um okay yeah 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 um since you know if you look at like guys like alberto miogo um you look at the stuff that was done in spider-verse like all the new is yeah. i find like sony animation is actually really killing it in terms of cg because all this stuff looks like like people are talking about how different cg is now and they can apply this artistic thing but even Things like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, that was very, mm. um, yeah. Yeah, to yeah, what, yeah, like, yeah. Good point. and it's not to yeah. say that what, what Pixar and uh, DreamWorks was doing was bad or anything like that, but it was just like, there was almost like a mentality when someone does something and then there's a switch. So it's like before Spider-Verse, it's like now that, you know, the new Turtles film, the Puss in Boots, everyone's kind of got this yeah. super, super dynamic, you know, bad, bad guys as well. Mm. But I... It's more, I don't think it's like, I think artists know, I think the artist knows what can be done with these things. It's just that there may be the biggest studios or the, the execs of the studios take a little bit longer to catch on to it, or they're waiting for something to be successful to kind of to put, because again, to really go for it. Yeah. and this is like, I think this is like a, a common thing when, um, I think with Disney, uh, you know, I think Walt Disney was used to like the classical look of Disney where you've got Snow White um, and then um, all the films, uh, I, I'm losing my train of thought, but all, the, all those films had like a certain look to it. But then when Sleeping mm. Beauty came out, it was like, you know, the square kind of graphic shapes and stuff. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, that, that's, it's not supposed to be, to be like that, but then everyone loves it. And then when 101 Dalmatians came out, it hasn't got really like the kind of classical painted backgrounds and stuff. It's like, oh, we don't like, mm. we don't like this. But every time someone dares to do something a bit different, it's like, oh, actually, that's really cool. Let's try and not copy that, but let's try and do something mm -hmm. like like that. You know, I mean, I think it's the same with CG. Like, um, I have, I like I said, I see it as a tool. It depends on how you use it. There was the same sort of conversations that was happening around Flash. It's like people hate using Flash because like oh, oh, Flash animation. Flash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you remember yeah. Flash, right? Don't be yeah, Flash. I Flash. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we we started using like you know when me and Tim were studying, we were using, uh, we used we used animating on paper, funny enough. But then we we moved into Flash, and then people were like our oh, Flash animation is bad. It's like well, it's not the program; it's just the way you use it. You can actually draw into Flash. In fact, Ninja Rabbit, I animated a lot of my scenes in Flash. It's just like, I cleaned it up That's in TV so Paint. Sick. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, yeah, it's 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 not the it's not the thing the tool itself it's, it's 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 how you use it you know like um I, I i'm trying to think yeah we had cg and um so there was something that me and um well piton is yeah cg right um there's a couple of yes yeah yeah, yeah piton's like a cg character but he was he was hand animated first he was like when i say hand animated he was like hand drawn first like roughly animated and then we use the CG to kind of clean clean it up because drawing those lines will take ages and stuff. So, you know, I still want to refine the technique a little bit. Um, I mean, that was done five years ago. So I think technology is a little bit better now. But yeah, Piton is CG. And I think no one's, I've not seen one comment where it's like, oh, you know, this looks weird because it's, it's CG. In fact, a lot of people didn't know that it was CG as well. So mm. I think it just depends on how you use it, you know. See, Solo, I told you CGI is an enabler. Yeah, and you're on mute, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so I don't, so I don't start shouting at you. No, I think, I think in, in reality, <laughs> I think in reality, I think one one thing I learned is that when you when we um when I first thought of CG, you have a particular art style because that's the it's like an education for me. It's like okay, well, CG is like you said, it's a tool. 
that doesn't mean that the the CG means that there's one particular art style because there isn't. You can go all the way from how Berserk was animated that everyone is like, yeah, don't watch that. All the way to, like you said, Cloudy with Transfer Meatballs, um, the Into the Spider Verse movies. They're both CG, but it's the art style. So I think if I think in in future it's going to be okay. So have they implemented CG? with an art style that I like, with an art style that I appreciate. And maybe some I don't, for example, and that's okay. But it's not CG that's the issue. It's like, to your point, how it was implemented, the art yeah. style that comes with it. So that was, that was I, I've, I've given up it. I'm not going to, I'm no longer going to say it. It's true. It's, ne- it's, never, it's, never, it's, never, it's never the tool. Like, a, like a bad guys mm. I watched, well, a couple, well, sort of close to when it came out. But that film... Yeah. It's got like a Lupin esque feel to it. It's it's beautiful. It's like the the character shapes and designs are great. The action scenes are amazing and stuff. Um, and I would argue, for me, when I'm looking at CG, if it's based on drawing principles, where mm. it's like you can see those people who are or whoever's kind of animation supervising it, you can see stands posing and you know shape language and all that kind of stuff if it has that in it then it will will look good i mean look at arcane arcane is looks in, incredible yeah, to yeah, me you know yeah, stuff yeah, that yeah. right so um yeah I, I i got no um i just prefer to draw i just prefer hand drawing and stuff but i don't mm. you know i i would i would never turn my nose up at cg or the use of it at all like i said we've used it in our um production sometimes like more than normal so like maybe like a uh, piton and then like something like valorant where um, uh, myself and Max uh, Taylor co-directed it. All the guns were, were were done in CG, but then I was also look, looking at like Ghost in the Shell and like, right, mm. I need an imperfection on the highlight here and do this with the line so it doesn't feel like it's CG and all that kind of stuff. So mm. um, yeah, there's just ways of using these things that you can make it look look really appealing. And there's some people that use it and it looks it looks terrible, you know. And, but it's the same with a drawing, right? It's like you can have someone same thing. that you look at a drawing, oh my God, this is beautiful. And then someone uses a pencil and they draw something. It's like, oh, that looks a bit off. So, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that but there's a lot same... Of... Oh, sorry, go on. No, go on. Sorry, no, go on, go on. I was going to say, is that same view held with AI as well in terms of it's a tool? So we're just going to utilize it for what it is? Or do you see AI being disruptive? Oh, here it comes. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, is the, this, is, this is the point where I get a clip but I, I get can, I get cancelled. <laughs> I get cancelled. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Um, I, we we've had a lot of conversation in the studio about what AI means and how you use a tool. Mm. I'm like there's a big I've got mixed and opposing feelings and stuff. My initial feeling is like, there's no good that can come of this, right? Because I'm just like, we're out, we're out here training up Skynet to take out, <laughs> to take out just <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> that's, I'm just like, like did, you not, did you guys not watch iRobot? What's going on? Like, you know what I mean? But, 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 I think, I think, like, objectively speaking, it's again, I remember I followed an a I, I followed a channel. It had all this a anime stuff. Oh, this is really cool stuff. And then I realized I was looking at this work and I was like, "This was on Instagram." I was looking. I was thinking, "This is AI." Do you know what I mean? And you, when you look at the descriptions and then the hashtags is AI, so I'm like, "All right, I liked it, but now all of a sudden I'm forming a bias to it mm. because it's AI." But I liked the image. And to be honest, there's a lot of AI stuff that's coming out. It it looks good i don't want to say that or admit it but it looks good mm. now how i feel about it as a tool i understand you know you spent you spend more or less your entire life learning how to do this mm. thing and crafting yeah. it and then someone yeah. i know it's not as simple as just pushing a button and prompting and stuff yeah. I, like, I think the people that use it they they can put in prompts but then they know how to kind of manipulate and put their own artistic mm-hmm. editing on it mm-hmm. to make it feel what it is so um i'm I've, um, I, I say at the studio, like we, we talk about, well, how to use it as a tool. So for instance, can you use it to in between? Do you know what I mean? Is that like a, a bad thing? Or can you use it to clean up? Or can you use it to mm. kind of 
color stuff in like in that way you're not really taking somebody else i think the problem with ai at the moment is that it's, it's kind of taking everybody's art and then making its own thing i don't know i don't understand exactly how it works and i think that's the kind of ethical problem that you have with it so it's like if we're gonna if we have ai can we train it up to do what the line does rather than train it up to do what ghibli does or whatever it is in that apparently you can't do that it's like it will take from everywhere so it's like okay um i i've always thought i i think to myself that removing i think that a human's ability to kind of come up with ideas and stories and stuff i don't think a computer can do that so i think ideas are probably now more than ever more important than the execution mm. of that thing right if you're just executing something that's where the danger lies that's where people can be put out of jobs and stuff um but if you're like <clears throat> you want to come up with an idea that's unique to your life experience i don't think a computer can just come up no. with that i mean there is a worry that you know in a few years we'll be able to kind of create these animations and stuff and it's like and i said to the guys look ai doesn't have to be miyazaki it just has to be good enough it just has to be good enough to compete mm. and it's already doing that with illustration and there might be a a time where it can compete in terms of animation. I know like a Corridor Digital has done this AI animation thing, um, um, which I'm looking at like, that doesn't look good. I think they actually based on Vampire Hunter D and I think they know it doesn't oh, look great, yeah. but you know, at some point, two, three, four years from now, th that gap would be bridged. And that's kind of mm. worrying. It feels sad as also like even with I'm jumping around a bit, but like even with like the death of Akira Tarama, you start to think, wow, all these people that create these kind of great arts over the years and stuff, they're going to start disappearing and then you're going to get a generation of people that are just doing AI stuff. So are you going to get the same mm -hmm. sort of like great, you know, icons created from this generation of artists that just, that just primarily want to use AI? I don't want to, I, I feel like I don't understand enough about it to make a decision either way. But even if I do make a decision, both things can be true at the same time. You know what I mean? It's going to have its uses and it's going to have its like a uh, downfall as well. So um, I know there was, there, there was like, um, there was that song that came out from Drake and the Weeknd. Yeah, it was yeah, an AI yeah. thing. There was like yeah. a big debate yeah. about, yeah. And I'm just like, obviously there's something like ethically, I think wrong with that. You know what I mean? Where you're just taking mm -hmm. someone's voice and that, but then you know what if yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah what if Greg just decides to kind of co-sign it for instance before he dies it's like all right you can use my 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 voice mm -hmm. and ai and make a deal what happens then, you know what i mean so it's like i think there's a lot of questions and a lot of scenarios that can be painted around it um i don't like the idea of ai maybe replacing people and taking it mm. i think Technology, technology has was always historically done that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I can't, I can draw on paper and stuff. I can't paint, but if I, when I do paint, I, I do using a brush and stuff. Isn't that like some form of technology kind of replacing this kind of like art form where like, okay, people are not like, you know, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but people are like not making paints anymore or not making watercolors because it's becoming redundant because everyone's going over to the digital and stuff so I, I have mixed i have a lot of mixed feelings so my answers are like no, somewhat, no, no, contradic thing, yeah. somewhat contradictory yeah so um so yeah you know what ai feels like to me when uh it feels like when autotune first came out and then <laughs> every every non-singer started was able to sing <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's that it's, it's that sort of thing but it's, it's more like, complicated than that yeah for sure <laughs> yeah because there are some ai artists that they they're just not leaving it to the AI to kind of do the AI probably will do the majority of it, but they they're touching mm -hmm. up in ways because they know what they're doing. But I also think to myself as an artist, is that how's that fun? But then I understand mm. if you're in a production and you want to get past the, you know, I was speaking, of, I was speaking to, um, because we speak to I speak about in the studio a lot, like, and it's something that we're taking very seriously and having, you know, ethical debates about it and all that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, if you, if I go, if I'm starting a project, I'll grab loads of images from the internet as references mm -hmm. to kind of like, you know, get, you know, to kind of guide the team and whatever is in that. And sometimes I wonder how is, 
if I was to take an AI and get loads of reference images and just say, create this, create that, create that, then take that as a reference point. I'm like, all right, this looks good, this looks good. And then start to draw from scratch. How is that? How is it different exactly? Do you know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. maybe that's a way of using it, but I'm just like, but do I want to engage in it? Sometimes I don't even want to, I don't use chat G, uh, is it GPT or whatever it is, or any yeah, of that stuff. GPT, yeah. Yeah. But then sometimes I'm wondering, like, am I kind of hindering workflows because I'm mm. averse to I think I'm not using it, not necessarily because I'm 100% against it. So like I don't understand what I'm getting into yet. I need to understand what it is that I'm engaging in before I actually even begin to to, to use it. So, but it's yeah. understandable. But yeah, Sorry, yeah. I was just going to say, it's understandable, no. especially as an artist, because um, we interviewed a guy called Daft Duff Art, who's um, a big um, content um, drawer of things mostly around Dragon Ball Z, but a lot of shonen. And he's the same, like, he's been working, and we've had him on the pod a few times, where he talked about his journey and how long it took him to get that good. He's, As he mentioned, he made sacrifices, he didn't go pie, and he didn't go all these things just cause, so he could just keep drawing. And then something just comes and says, hey, uh, type this in and you can get the same output as someone who spent like half their life or whatever, just day in day crafting their technique. So I, I can imagine, um, and this is not just art, it could be anywhere where um, even copywriters, people write um, copy, you know, AI can just spit yeah. something out. So you're you're thinking to yourself now, where do I belong? Where, where, where does my, you know? So I think it's... it is going to be... A tough one for some people to to swallow, but we have to adapt. Um, like you said, it's gonna it's gonna be more about ideas as opposed to execution. Yeah, I, I think I think that the world the world we live in. I mean, do you want to live in that world? I mean, ultimately, if you're an artist, you're an animator and stuff, and you see some animation and stuff, you're gonna see the nuances. You're gonna the things that mm. I look at. Oh my god, the way they did that shadow and stuff. But if you show that to like most of my family, I'm able to tell the difference. So like who cares you know what i mean so it's like <laughs> i you, you know it's like what i suppose it, it's it's never down to the artist like what we don't decide what people mm. love or like about our work like they decide and ultimately you know you can you just see it sometimes you took you look at people like tiktokers or youtube and you see people that got get famous and making millions you're like this is garbage, but I'm not the <laughs> yeah, person that decides right. that. It's like, the, it's the, the consumer that decides that. And maybe it's like, you know, dumbing down society somewhat. I don't know. I, mm. I don't want to make a kind of judgment, but I just think ultimately it's like, well, what what can I do? And what do I need to do to, I don't want to say combat it, but what is it like, you know, I need to be thinking about. And I, 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 and I do feel like the, the conclusion I came to is just more ideas and how you put your experience because AI can't create your experience. They can't, it can't create your yeah. life story. There's things that will happen yeah. in your life that AI can't do. And then maybe that's, that's the thing that artists now, now need to start tapping into. So if you're someone that's like, you've built your entire career, just making fan art, then it's probably very easy to AI to kind of replace you. Whereas if you spent your career, like tapping into your ideas or the ideas of other people and your life experiences mm. and the thing that a computer can't do, it's less, it's probably harder for AI to be like, oh, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take it. It you. might happen one day, do you know what I mean? But I, I, I think it's a lot further away. It's that kind of uncanny valley thing, do you know what I mean? And um, mm. and again, these, these technologies, like it's like photography. It's like as soon as things, photos came out, people thought, oh, well, no one's going to be interested in paying anymore. And it's like, that's just not the case. So, mm. um, no. yeah. Yeah. I know I agree with that. I think is I think it's quite interesting. So so I use ChatGPT. I use yeah. I use I use it a fair bit. Um, and I see it. I I see it as a tool. Um, and it depends on what use case. So and there are certain AI tools that are. And, and you're right. You have to take it with a grain of salt because it's been proven to be wrong sometimes. It's been mm. proven to get false references. But you can use it to do certain things, like quickly summarize a topic or give it present mm. it with input and then to summarize something and to, to break it down to its into some salient points and i think that's that's quite cool i think what i find quite interesting is that authenticity is something to your point is that that as long as you can be authentic and you're being authentic and you're 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 creating something that's quite authentic then ai can't yes. can't 
can't replace that. And there was one. Yeah. There's one. Uh, I obviously I'm not an artist or an illustrator or an animator, but I remember there's one Instagram page I follow, and he's he or she is quite open and said like this is all AI generated, mm. and he has he or she has created this this has created this fantasy world. It sounds stupid, but it's good, based around vegetables and how each of vegetables has its own like its own legacy and its own like it's incredible like like it's it's the war against carrots versus broccoli <laughs> and so the artwork is just imagine like just a wham broccoli it's just huge yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but the interesting thing why people keep said oh can i read the comments or can we have part three part four it's nothing to do with the art it's the storyline story. that it's the story, story line that's yeah created. yeah and yeah yeah, yeah. exactly Th- and so, that's um, quite interesting yeah yeah i yeah i don't want to i don't want to be one of these i know like like lots of times when the new art form or new technology comes out people start to hold on what it took them to get there and their skill and their talent yeah, but it's yeah, like yeah. These, these things are ever evolving and it, like even like what you're saying about the carrot the broccoli it's like I mean, you know, Broly, Broly, Kakarot, Vegeta, it's the all based on vegetables. Like, <laughs> like, like, also, you know what I mean? So, it might as well. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know. Wait, is he trying to make the video disappear with a terrible hand tool? Sadly, yes. Yes, he is. It's still there, though. Yes, but in his mind, it's gone.